Oh, looky, looky. Another game made by 616 Games in VHS format. Hi, I'm Don Monkey, and welcome to Trash Night. While I get familiarized with the graphic settings, I want you guys to make sure and subscribe, leave a like on the video, and comment about what you thought about this entire game. Ah, excuse me. Tuesday, 3 26, 1997, 10 22 p.m. It's kind of late here, guys. I gotta leave. Nice city. Amy, wait, what you doing here, me? Alley bar. Gotta leave. We gotta go home. Go down the alley through this area. We gotta get to our house. <laughs> gotta get some shed eye. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tuesday. 03-26-1997, 1135 p.m. Collect garbage bags from the marked points. I, can I just drive forward? Oh. Yeah, I can't put it in. What? Okay, so I gotta grab one by one. What? What the? I'm carrying all the garbage bags. Cause this is my job. Hello? Anybody there? No one? Okay. A Don takes back the trash to the truck. It's dark, gloomy, and scurry. Ooh, I can drive. Oh boy, this time, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to park at the... No. This going to force me to do it like this. I'm a terrible driver, everybody. Don't even ask me any questions. You know damn well I cannot drive. Not in these video games. And again, I have a controller already plugged in. So if this game actually had controller support, I'd be able to drive properly. Nyah, nyah, nyah. There's a familiar song in my head from another horror game that I played. It was about taking out the trash. I wonder if I can find it on the radio. I love that it just automatically stops me in that area. No questions asked, no remorse. Just stop right here, grab the garbage. That's your job. You gotta do your job.
Um, you totally didn't just see me crash. I I didn't crash. Boy fit. All right, so I'm gonna start again from the end, go to the very back, and that's it. <clears throat> I'm collecting trash. We're taking out the trash. Oh, oh wait. I'm gonna skip the twins. Cause I'm gonna get this lonely man. Now the twinsies here and here. Let's go in the can. In the other place. Oh no. Whoa. Well, at least the rear view mirrors work, I guess. Well, side mirrors. They're called side mirrors. Whoa, something was stopping me there. Why is it this quiet this late at night? Shouldn't there be some people driving around? It would make this a lot less monotonous. Cool. We found more trash. More trash. One more house to go in this place looks a bit, uh, raggedy. This house is getting scarier and scarier. Well, what do you know about the house? Go to the bright spot. Uh, no, I, I want to drive. I want to get out of here. Okay, let me in. Let me in the truck. Get me in. I can't believe we're going to the spot. This is the home of the famous serial killer known as Knife Ripper. It's quite scary. Okay. Without a doubt, the most cruel killer who ever lived. He tortured his victims before killing them, but he did this for days, keeping the person alive and being tortured in the worst possible ways. His trademark was to remove the skin from the victim's faces, placing it on his own face like a mask, thus bringing extreme physical and psychological torture. So what, he's led the face? After some complaints from neighbors, the police came to the killer's house to search. The scene that the police witnessed was horrible. The sergeant described this episode as hell on humanity. The killer was identified as Joseph Johnson, a 42-year-old man with no family. He was never captured and remains number one on the United States Most Wanted list. This happened nine years ago. He was never seen again. Some say they see him wandering around. That's why no one ever dared to enter the house. This is my opportunity to take exclusive photos of the house and try my career as a photographer. I just need photos that no one is, has courage to take. I'm tired of picking up other people's garbage. Good thing I brought my camera. It's in the truck. Let's go. Didn't expect to read the story there, but hey, we did. We just did. Ooh, look down the lens and then shoot.
What's that part of the fences loose? Okay, so we broke the fence. We are trespassing. Wasn't good. No, who cares? It's got to be a way inside. Oh, yeah, we can get through the crack in the garage door. Maybe up front. No. Well, screw you. Oh. Oh. That door. I didn't get a chance to read all that. That's my mistake, people. Sorry. We're looking for more evidence of crimes. So he cooked his victims' bodies to eat them. Yeah, that definitely sounds like Leatherface in the combination of uh, Ron Turn. Uh uh. Nope. Jump down. No, sir. No. 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 Uh uh. No, 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 no. No, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. I don't like ghosties. This is the worst room in the house. This is where he tortured his victims right on this chair. Oh, God, chainsaw. I don't care if it wasn't good. I'm taking the pictures. It was in this bathtub that several dismembered bodies were found. You can still imagine the horror scene. The most feared killer of all time slept in this bed. It's strange being here. So what, you don't want to take a picture of the bed? Madeline's body was found in, in this room. She was a child of just seven years old. She has been missing for seven months. You know, it's pretty sad. Take good photos. Okay, so that's a good photo, but what about... Okay. Well, what's a good photo? Okay. I'm going home to look at these photos. The energy in this place is terrible. Thank God, just let me out of this place. Let me go home. Oh, hello there. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. What are you doing in here? I mean, I was just taking some photos. Photography is just kind of my hobby. Aren't you afraid of the killer? He's still out there. No one ever caught him. I just wanted to take some photos of the house. Do you live in the neighborhood? No, I live far from here. I come here all the time. I like morbid places. Smoke a joint and drink. How about we smoke, bro? <coughs> no thanks. I'm leaving for home now. I finished my work. Have a good night, and if you want any advice, keep working as a garbage man. Photography will end up killing you. He's the killer. He's the one who did it. I think. I don't know. This guy must be crazy. This time of night and he's in a serial killer's house. Our protagonist is starting to say the same stuff that I'm saying. 
you know, we might be on to something, people. Yeah. You know? Wednesday. 03-27-1997. a.m. This is my home. Home sweet home. I'm going to reveal these photos. Now this is a bathroom. This is a bright room. Wednesday, 03 27, 1997, 3 a.m. I'm going to bed now. Tomorrow the photo should be clear. This reminds me of something. Oh yeah, yeah. I I know. I know what this is. I know this place. I I know this apartment. I remember from another from another game I played. Wednesday, 03 oh, 9 a.m. Good day. I'll see if my photos turned out pretty good. I'm a great photographer. I don't know why I work as a garbage man. Um, I don't know, looking at these pictures, uh, don't quit your day job. What do we gotta do now? It doesn't say anything. Is that all? Is that all of them? What well, wasn't good? What? What? What do you need me to do, game? Oh, someone's at my door. You. I knew it. Good morning. We met last night in that abandoned house. I mean, yes, I remember. How'd you find me? Oh, there's an ad in the paper. You're a photographer, right? Yeah, I do some odd jobs as a photographer. You need anything? I was the one who hired you to take photos of the famous serial killer's abandoned house. You're Jerome? Why didn't you tell me that yesterday? I'm a discreet man. Are my photos ready yet? Could you hand it over? Yeah, they're ready. I'll get them for you. You're creepy. Here. Wow, you are very good at this, buddy. You like the photos? I took them as he asked me over the phone. They had the most morbid parts of the house. Oh, I love the photos. It may seem strange, but I really like morbid things. I'm glad you liked it. If you need any further services, just give me a give me a call. Oh, I would actually like more photos. I'm fascinated by the story of the knife ripper. I would like more photos of the house. Right, I can take more photos now. I'm just going to work at dawn as a garbage collector. 
No? No. I want the photos at dawn. To give it a more sinister look. Please take some photos of the outside of the house too. Okay, no problem. Tomorrow your photos will be ready, buddy. Am I the only one who thinks that that was weird? No? Cool. I'm gonna watch some television. The newspaper has already started. Body of a 19 year old girl was found inside a dumpster this morning. A homeless man found the body and immediately called the police. Police continued to investigate the crime scene. The young woman was tortured before she died. Her eyes and vices were torn out of her body. At the moment, the police only have one suspect, the famous serial killer, Knife Ripper. There's there was still a knife stuck in the victim's skull. I thought I would never witness a horror scene like that again. Such a brutal killer is still out there. Is Knife Ripper really back after being missing for nine years? Or is some other lunatic taking inspiration from him? His description is of a 39 year old man. He uses the skin from his victim's faces as a mask and always attacks using knives. Police are offering a $5,000 reward for any information on the, on the killer. Be careful when walking through the city streets at night. May God protect us all. Well, perfect opportunity. No, I can't leave yet. Uh, I'm going to sleep. The work in the morning will be long. Thursday, 03-28-1997, 122 AM. I need to go to work. I hate this shit. Go, 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 go. Thursday, 03-28-1997, 220 AM. All right, job's done. Now let's go take more photos. I confess that this time I'm scared. You know what? Um, I'm glad that we didn't have to collect garbage again. He asked, he asked me for a photo of the house from the outside. What, that's not good enough? I'll take a photo of the back of the house too. That's, that, that's not a good photo that I did earlier from the front. Are you high? Oh, okay. That works. Oh. That photo. Interesting. Thursday, 03-28-1997. I had 340 AM. I'm going to reveal my photos and go to sleep. They should be ready tomorrow morning. Yay. Oh, 03-28-1997, 830 AM. water and that's rain it's a rainy day even though it looks clear outside
take, 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 and take. <sighs> there we go. All in a day's work. Of course, every time I go into the bed, there's always someone at the door. Always somebody. Oh, hey. Morning, Joseph. I hope my photos are ready. Morning. Yeah, they're ready. What is your real objective with these photos? I already said I like morbid things. And the knife ripper is still out there. I want to meet him one day. Tell him how much I admire his story. Crazy? He'll kill you. He kills everyone who gets in his way. I don't care. My life isn't that interesting. At least I would be in the newspapers. <laughs> the photos are on the table. Come on. I just have something to drink. I have a job offer. Well, thanks, friend. If we find the killer, we could have the reward, I guess. I heard they are offering 5,000 bucks to whoever finds him. Yeah, we can do this together. Come on. You can sit in the armchair. I'll get you a beer. <coughs> oh, excuse me. There you go, bud. No way. It... Am I the killer? Enjoy the beer, buddy. So you liked my work. I'm happy. Hey, great. The photos were amazing. I only have one problem. I don't like curious people. <sighs> Wait, you're kidding. We are the killer? All this time I was blaming Jerome when in fact we were the killer all along. Oh no. Get information from Jerome? Okay. <laughs> I knew it was you. I was sure. What do you want from me? Did you think you would hand me over to the police and get the money? I'm not going to tell you anything, you damn pig. Oh, you will. You'll tell me everything, buddy. <laughs> so, we have my knives. You see, this is a kitchen knife. I made sure they were extra sharp. Sharper than Gordon Ramsay's favorite knives. So, we're going to do this the hard way. Let me just see it right here and slowly lift up my arm only to do this. Hush now. It'll be over soon. You bastard. I'll kill you. You're a monster. Why were you after me? I know it's not for the reward. Fuck you. I won't say anything to you. All right, then let's continue with our game. <clears throat> and over here, we have a couple of forts. See, these are stainless steel forts. I made sure they were nice and polished for you. Here, let me just grab it right here. And then I'm just going to stick this in here. And go. Son of a bitch, kill me at once. Why are you after me? Are you from the police? No. Bastard, you killed my brother. I swear to God, I will kill you. Oh, a revenge. <laughs> Your brother bled like a pig. <laughs> Here, let's make this more interesting. 
excuse me, I had to cough. <laughs> you know what we're gonna do now? We're gonna adopt our Salvador, yeah. Happy trails, buddy. So slow. Ah, oh, damn. I wanted to play with you more. Seems you couldn't last much longer. Right. Oh, well. Ah, that's too bad. I have, I have only two cameras. All this good meat. What do I need to get now from him? What? Damn, didn't expect this one. Oh, we can talk about this. Burn in hell, you son of a bitch. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. We can talk, we can talk, we can talk, we can talk, we can talk. He didn't want to talk. Oh, so, um, well, he got his reward. <clears throat> now he's going to be in the wheelchair or on crutches for a while until he gets prosthetic. No, don't put it on. That was interesting. That was real interesting. <laughs> 